Today on Marae Investigates, is this yet another education blunder? We've been told to do something um, by the Ministry of Education that we don't believe we are legally required to do. Are kura kaupapa Māori at odds with the Minister of Education? I think she should resign. She's got no idea what the bloody hell she's doing. Then we meet the woman behind the woman who led the charge for the marriage amendment bill. Finally, as the last of our troops return from Afghanistan, we meet the commander of the 1st Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Bill Keelan. My job here is to train soldiers so they can serve our country, if required. E ngā kō hiwi tanga o ngā rākau tau matua o te motu a te mārie e tēnā rākau tau katoa. E hare kō ana, te ngā kau kei kōna anō koutou e māta ki taki mai nā, uh, nau mai hara mai. Ai Marika, te ahua nei he pakanga a ture kei te haereake i Wainganui te manatū mā tauranga me te runanga nui o ngā kura kaupapa Māori e kōkiri nei i te marautanga aho matua. A nei te raru, e rua ngā ture e tū hake hake āna ki a rāua nō e pāna ki ngā tikanga arotake i ngā kura kaupapa Māori. Kei te aru aru te manatū mā tauranga i tētahi o e nei ture nei, e ngari ko tā te runanga me te aho matua he whakakaurera ke ake i te rātū. Nō reira ko te hea te ture me mā tua whai e ngā kura kaupapa Māori. Ko te ture kau mā tua rawa o ngā ture e rua nei, ko te ture hou rā nei i hua ake ai i te wā o te whakarewatanga o ngā paerewa a motu. Well, we invited a spokesperson from the Ministry of Education on the programme this morning. They were unavailable. However, they did send in a statement from the Ministry's Deputy Secretary, Rowena Fair. So schools have been legally required to implement national standards of which Ngā Whanake Tanga Rumaki Māori is an important part since they were incorporated into the Education Act in 2008. The Ministry is listening to concerns from Kura and has extended the time frame by which they need to meet their reporting requirements. The Ministry continues to work constructively with individual schools and Kura to support those that have not yet provided charter information uh, and their information on Ngā, whanaki, uh, ngā Whanakitanga. Excuse me. Hoi anō, kei te me ki pēne, kei te whakamirei rei te upoko o te runanga o ngā kura kaupapa Māori a Tauni Waho. Hei tāna e kore tōna kura e hāpai ake i te tono a te tāhuhu o te mātauranga o te manatū mātauranga rānei i raro i ngā paerewa a motu. Hei tāna anō, kua kōrero ia ki te tahi mātanga roia mō tēnei take. I kōrero mai ia, kia Marae Investigates i te timatanga o tēnei wiki. Nā, Ann Tolly. Te ao mātauranga i waka au, me puta tētehi ininga e mōhi o ti ai, ai rā nei, kaore rā nei e eke ana ngā tamaraki i rotu i tēnei mea te ako. Ka puta mai tēnei mea te paere wā motu, national standards, ka huri ngā āpeha o te tāhu o te mātauranga ki te waihanga i ngā paere wā a motu e hei whai mā ngā kura reo Māori, nā kua puta ko ngā whanakitanga rūmaki Māori, ko era ngā paerewa a motu, me whai, me whakatinana e ngā kura reo Māori pēnei tēnei, me ngā kura kaupapa Māori ono te kau mā whā e noho nei i raru i te maru o te rūnanga nui o ngā kura kaupapa Māori. Mai te puta ngā tuatahitanga mai o tērā takea e ntoli, Kāori te rūnanga nui o ngā kura kaupapa Māori i wakai. Ko te take, he whai ti rawa te tirohanga, ko te pānui, ko te pāngarau, ko te tuhitui anake, hei tirohanga, hei whakātu ki te ao, he paenga o te kura. Ko tā te kura kaupapa Māori, ka te tiro ki te katoa te tamaiti, timatai me tana tahawairua, Mo te ine, ai rā nei, he paenga, e puta ana i te kura, me te tiro ki te katoa te tamaiti. Me kaua e ine tēnei mea te paenga, ki te whaiti o ngā take anake. Nā reira, ko te aho matua, te tino tāhuhu, te whāriki, ngā pau o te whare o te kura kaupapa Māori, 
um, kei reira ngā arahitanga, kei reira anō hoki ngā tohu, hei, hei arahi a mātou i roto i tēnei mea te ine i te pai o te ako. Um, nā reira ko pānui tuhitui pāngarau, he, 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 he wahanga iti noi ho o a mātou mahi. Mō te toru tau, ko whakahengia, ko whakahengia ngā wanaki tangaru maki Māori i te runanga nui. Tai rā wāke ki tēnei tau, me mātua whakātu, e ai ki te ture, e ai ki te tāhuhu o te mātauranga, me mātua whakātu e ia kura, heha tāna, ki ngā paerewa a motu, mō mātou, heha wā mātou, ki ngā whanake tangaru maki Māori. Ni kāri mātou i te mahi, i te rā mahi. Kua huri te kura kaupapa Māori o mana tamariki, ki Chen Palmer, ke tātari hi a te ture, ke mōhio ti ai, ai rā nei, e tika ana tāta tāhuru e waka au nei. Ko tā Chen Palmer, e ai ki te ture, ka tō ngā mahi, e mahi a nei i roto i te kura kaupapa Māori, me hāngai ki te ahomatua. Kāri anō te tāhuru o te mātauranga ki whakātu mai, hea te hāngai tanga o ngā paerewa nei, o ngā whanaketanga nei, ki tā mātau tino kaupapa. Nā reira, kei te whakamāra mātau mātau ki ngā minita, kei te whakamāra mātau mātau ki te kaihautu o te tāhu o te mātauranga. Koe a nei te ture, e ai ki tā mātau roia, e ai ki te roia a mana tamariki, nō reira waiho te taha ki ngā whanaketanga. Me aro ki te ahomatua, koe ia hei pūrongotanga mā te kura kaupapa Māori e whai nei te ahomatua. Mō te taha ki te ture, ko tāta roi e mea nei, kua pai tā mātou mahi i roto i te ture, i raro i te ture. Nā reira, me heki te wā, te tikanga ko tau kē, ko tai kē a mātou pūrongo ki te tāhu o te mātou ranga, ko te toko maho o mātou i papuri, i papuri a mātou pūrongo, ki a mātou pūrongo, i rungi te mōhio, kāri mātou i te whai ngā whanaketanga, kāri mātou i te pūrongo atu e pāna ki ngā whanaketanga, he mataku nō mātou ka tukuna mai i te tāhu o te mātou ranga, he komihana rā nei, ka whakakore tia te whānau, anā ka riro mā rātou te kura e whakahaere. Anā, kua mauri tau i nā, anā, kua rongo ao kua pai a mātou mahi, me ū ki te ahomatua, kei reira te oranga, me pūrongo atu e pāne ki tērā, nō reira ko tērā ki tā mātou mahi. Nā, kātahi anō, i ngā nahi nei nō, tērā kaha, ka tau mai ki roto i ngā kura kaupapa Māori, nā reira koe rā tā mātou ki o mātou kura huri nō i te motu. Kia ū ki te ahomatua, Ka pai. Tony Wahl, what do the politicians think? We sent Te Hemara Rauhihi to Wellington to ask them why we need Kura Kaupapa Māori. Do you think we need um, Kura Kaupapa Māori in New Zealand? Aye. He, he, he take? Yes, we do. I mean, it's been long established um, um, since the Kura Kaupapa movement first began that we should have Kura Kaupapa, and they have increased as community demand has increased for them. Nā reira, te kohu kua tau ki tēnei take, e rua ngā āhuatanga mewhai, engari ko ngā āhuatanga nei, kei te tau patupatu. I find it rather depressing that uh, we have this focus on charter schools, for example, which is an external model, doesn't work for uh, vulnerable learners, and yet we have kura, which is uh, our own model created by our own whānau that works so well for our kids. E ai ki tēnei reta ki te minita take mātou ronga tūrua kia Peter Sharples, he kakari nui kei te arake i wainga nui i te runanga nui o ngā kura kaupapa Māori me te tāhuhu o te mātou ronga mō ngā tūtohinga me ngā whanaketanga. Ko te aho matua, he kaupapa tukuiho, he kaupapa ātāhua. Pēnei e tāhe a te tāpiri atu e tahi atu whakanikotanga, hore he raruraru. Engari kaua rawa atu ngā kura kaupapa e tāpapa ki raro. Me ake aki a pita, ki a tū, hei kai whakatikatika ki te kāhore, me whakataha. E rua ngā wāhanga kei roti ngā kura. Ko te tahi hāwhe e whai atu i te aho matua, ko e tahi atu whai atu i ngā tikanga o taua hapū, o e rā hapū. Nā reira, kai te pai, kai te ōrite ana ki tāku i titiro, e whakāko i roto i ngā tikanga a koromā kwi mā. 
I think the challenge is with, with Pete now. Uh, you either step up to Pete or step aside. And by the way, if you're going to step aside, Pete, I'm more than happy to be the Minister of Māori Medium Education. He raru raru nui tēnei kei mua i te aroaro o te tāhuhu o te mā tauranga, engari kei te noho puku tonu rātou. He pērā rawa, kāre he tohu e mea ana kei ko nei tō rātou tari. It appears that the Ministry is wanting to shift kura away from the uh, Kaupapa Māori curriculum that they are currently working under mostly and that um, has been approved by the Ministry and forcing them into another model that is much more about national standards um, and much more towards the privatisation end of the education spectrum. Engari, ko te kaiwhakatau mo tēnei raru i rotu i te autoranga pūko pita, kā rea no tana reo ki a rangona. Te āhua nei, uh, ko te... Ko te why do we need kura kaupapa? Uh, because the mainstream has been so bloody useless. Um, because kura kaupapa have proven to be extremely successful. Because international evidence proves that a child that, that grows up in his own language um, is, is, uh, is better educated overall. And because it gives value to tō tātou reo Māori. Hoi anō rā, kua rongo tātou i ngā whakaaro o tēnā o tēnā o ngā tohunga, o ngā mātanga, o ngā kaitoranga pū e pāna ki te mātauranga kura kaupapa Māori. Engari, i rapu whakaaro anō mātou i ngā tauira o te kura auraki me te kura kaupapa. I whakahaua au a tauira rā ki a few pātai hohonu ki o rā au a tūmoaki. A nei rā tā te awatere Douglas rāua ko rangi whā tautou savage i raho rako a ke ai. Tēnā koutou katoa, ko Awatere Douglas tōku ingoa. Tēnā koutou katoa, ko Rangifātou tō Savage tāku ingoa. Ko tēnei tōku kura. Ko tēnei tōku kapa. Nau mai, hare mai. Nau mai, hare mai, ki tōku kura, ko Western Heights. Wā ringa ringa tōrana koua, wā hoke mai! So there are 1,600 students in my school, 850 are Māori, and 80 are in this bilingual unit, Te Akoranga. Ko tēnei taku kura, e rua rau toru te kaunga akonga o tēnei kura, mai te tau tahi, tai atu ki te tau te kau mā toru. Ko te whakatau ki o tēnei kura, mahi ai tōna ringa, tino kai, tino mākona. This is my law class. Yep, it's pretty interesting. Come on in. I started at the school two years ago. Oh my. I needed to learn more of Mataha Pākehā. And there are three uh, rights that young people have when they've been arrested. And one of those rights, JP is going to tell us what one of those rights are. JP? Um, you have the right to remain silent. You have the right to give your name, address, occupation and school. Oh, you have a right to see a lawyer. Yeah. Me kake i te maunga o te mātauranga. E toru ngā reo o te neikura. Ko te reo Māori, ko te reo Pākeha, a rā, ko te reo Paniora. Nau mai, haru mai. Hola, Diego. Que bueno que viniste, porque hay problemas con el texto que preparaste. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es que dijiste do, dos reporteros? ¿Y por qué eso no es la otra? Es... La, la otra. No, porque no, aquí está Alejandro Villafañe y... Otros. Ok, pero solamente uno y por eso. Y otro, ok, no otra, porque otra es femenina. Thank you for talking to us today, Fua. So, why should I come to a mainstream school? I would like to think that you get the best from a state school because we definitely have the benefit of at least 160 years of resourcing uh, in your subject areas. So that the teacher, for example, who comes to you to teach you physics, that teacher has years and years of resourcing behind them to bring the best to you. Matua, 
He a te take me hare mai au ki tēnei kura kaupapa Māori. Kei te pātai mai koe ki au, tama. Ina nahi i haere atu tātou ki te whakatai tai manu kōrero. I uru atu koe ki roto i te wāhanga pākeke, ne, mo te reo pākea. He ano tō tūranga mō te whai kōrero whakarite? Tuatahi. Tuatahi. Koe nga te tehi take tino pai mo te hara mai ki kone. Ne, ako ngā kōrera e tehi āka haere ki te kura ka papa Māori kā heke ko te reo pākea nai i tōa koe. Kia hau nei koina titi take tino pai. After ngatahi, we are the future. So any decisions anybody's making for us, uh, they need to make it right, get it right. Kia koutou ngā kai whakahaere. Koutou e hanga nei ngā māhere mo te ao mātauranga. Ka tika me taki koutou i a mātou. Get it right, because we're in your guys' hands. Ko mātou ngā rangatira moa pōpō. So on behalf of Western Heights High School, me te kura kaupapa Māori o te koutu. Thank you for watching. Noho ora mai. Tēnā koutou katoa. Too bad we beat you guys at manu kōrero. Too bad we beat you at hakas. Impressive. All right, Wednesday night was an historic one as we witnessed the passing of the Marriage Amendment Bill legalising same-sex marriage here in Aotearoa. The woman who led that charge was Labour MP Louisa Wall. Ngā mihi aroha ki a koutou te whānau. And to my darling Prue, thank you for your work and sharing this journey with me. Nothing can counteract the very real negative consequences of not passing this bill, but nothing could make me more proud to be a New Zealander than passing this bill. It's an honour to represent your country and the people of New Zealand. I'm proud to be a member of this 50th Parliament that will continue New Zealand's proud human rights tradition. I thank my colleagues for simply doing what is fair, just and right. Kia ora. So that was Louisa Wall in Parliament thanking her supporters, including her darling partner or <laughs> wife, uh, Prue Kapua, and they're both here this morning. Tēnā kōrua. Thanks for joining us. Um, partner, wife, what's the, what's the proper term? Well, when you have a civil union, you actually don't have uh, authority under the legislation to call each other husband, wife, part. So, 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 so really, uh, you know, we are each other's partners, but um, one day maybe we'll be able to call each other Are you going wives. to get married? I think one day we will, but we're not going to be um, joining the, the queue to be the first to... Why not? Um, because for us, um, this wasn't ever about us. It's actually about fighting for uh, equality under the law for all New Zealand citizens. And in fact, I think um, there are a whole lot of other people uh, who now will have that opportunity. Um, we, you know, we chose to have a civil union. Other people have not been satisfied mm. with civil union. Other people flew to different jurisdictions so that they could marry. And now a lot of people are going to be flying here to, to get married. Thanks to you. I mean, it's been a real fight, as you say. Prue, how tiring has it been? Oh, I think it's been <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty tiring. It's um, um, what, what uh, would you say was the, mo the, the most difficult part for, for you both going through this as, as a, a couple? Um, I think probably is going through the issue of trying to be supportive, trying to get the proper information out there and, and often um, being hit with a whole lot of information that's not right, people reacting to it, you, you're then just trying to deal with all of these... Because um, I guess uh, for you it's quite simple, you're a couple in love. Hmm. That's right. And it was a difficult thing to, to get that recognised. And now you're there. Let's take a look at some of the, um, the pictures from that night. Because I'm curious, Louisa, to see, you know, to hear from you what it was that you were thinking uh, as, as the votes were being read out. You seemed so calm. Let's have a look at some of those pictures, if we can, um, of you in Parliament. Have we got those? We had a, par a packed parliamentary gallery. So here we go. Here you are. You're doing your speech. You know that people are going to be uh, voting, you know that those votes are about to be read out. What are you thinking in this moment? I'm thinking in the moment that the time has finally come, uh, that this third reading uh, vote um, will confirm, I, I believed all along, that New Zealand would proudly again stand as a champion. You had no doubt about that? No, I didn't actually, um, because I think the journey was one where we managed to answer every question uh, that was put as a barrier. And, I, and actually I do want to pay tribute to um, people like Dr Paul Hutchinson, who went through a really rational, logical process of deciding 
quickly he stood on the issue. Uh, Chris Arkinvall, who's a member of the Presbyterian Church, again went through a very logical process. Um, and then we had Morris Williamson. <laughs> and it's interesting because you've got three older uh, heterosexual men who are in the National Party who got it. And I think actually they symbolise and typify um, where the process ended up, which was why I was, uh, I guess, in a position where it was just about letting it unfold and take place. Because the work that we'd done throughout the process uh, and ensuring people like them understood what we were fighting for, and then they could articulate it so well. You, as I said before, you look so calm. Were you, were you yeah, emotional? I no, um, I was emotional. Anticlimactic? You were a bit emotional during the day. <laughs> I was emotional know. during the day, and actually, if people uh, listen to the speech, there is a little underlying um, tremor because, um, you know, on days like uh, Wednesday, you sort of reflect on your family, who you are, where you come from. And I'd had been asked questions about my father, who, you know, for me, um, is my role model. He's who I look up to. Mm. His um, sense of uh, community, him being on our Marae Committee. So you really felt, the day. you were feeling oh, the weight of what, what was happening. I was moment. feeling the weight, but I was also feeling um, that I'd fulfilled a legacy that he'd created for me. That actually, when you see injustice in the world, you have to do something about it to sit back and allow it to continue. Now you, I mean, this, this is a huge achievement. We're, we're going to be, you know, going to Willie Jack in a moment who's probably going to say all those bloomin' Labour Māori MPs are useless except for Lewisa Wall. What's your next frontier? What's the next goal? <laughs> I wish Willie would say that. He gives me a hard time um, because what I do want to say is that I hope people uh, saw through that process that Māori um, stood up and were counted. I mean we were very clear and I was very clear all along that in fact our Indigenous community have so much to teach the world in terms of loving and accepting our takatapui whanau and in fact Tūrero was Flavel, Flavel's speech about um, Tutanikai and Tiki means mm. we're reclaiming some of our mythology and so you know from both of us we know that internationally our indigenous communities have been uh, amazed at how mm. much we've injected in and, and, you, and of course singing Pokari Kariana exactly, yeah. was just amazing. That's all the BBC wanted to talk to me about. <laughs> when they called, I'm, I'm serious. And I'm, I'm afraid we do have to leave it there, but if, just in, if you can give me three seconds, what's the next frontier, what's your next challenge? Oh, many challenges in my electorate. I'm um, very passionate about education. Education, um, all right, so that's number one. We'll leave it there just for now, but sure. congratulations again, and lovely to have you both with us this morning. Thank you so much. All right, Willie, what do you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what do, you, <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say? Willie, here's your chance to heap praise on Lewis Wall. I've said for some time she's been the best Māori MP, um, and it's her advocacy has been tremendous on this kaupapa. Congratulations to her. She's lucky to have Prue. Prue's a... a a very quiet, a bit like myself, very quiet <laughs> advocate for things uh, uh, Māori. I'm feeling and a butt coming on though. No, 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 I, I, there's no butt. So I just congratulate Lewisa, but what I want to see now is I want Lewisa and I want her to get some of the gay rights movement in behind some of our Māori issues because I think that the gay rights uh, movement, I'm not talking about Lewisa here, and the feminist movement at times have been very slow in terms of embracing kaupapa Māori. And I think that'll be a real challenge for uh, Lewisa. Um, but, you know, Labour, this is the star Māori. MP, no doubt about it. I mean, Jones is back in, but the rest of them, you know, write them off. Uh, they, <laughs> might, they, they might come back by default, but can, can, can the feminist movement, can the gay movement uh, embrace our kaupapa the way so many of our people have embraced this? And these? how do you think this legislation will affect the Labour Party? Well, see, the big question was that they were going to go backwards, they were going to go down. Uh, and, and, and I raised that question too, even though unlike John Tamahiri, I would have supported the bill uh, because you've got that blue collar work, uh, vote, particularly in Manurewa. Uh, and, uh, but it looks like Roy Morgan polled out the other day that Labour are not going to be affected by it. So John Tamahere may well be wrong. Well, you're mentioning John Tamahere, and he's in the media again this morning. Yes. Um, saying that media are, are against him because he's Māori. He's pulling out the old race card again. Well, What's going well, on with JT? There, what, what, what John's doing, he's in a big scrap with Fairfax Media at the moment. But he's in a scrap with everyone. With well, I, yeah, yeah. well, him and I have had the odd <laughs> tough, tough. No, but here's the reality. is The media, the fourth estate, is not used to being critical 
critiqued, <laughs> all right? The fourth estate critiques everyone and brings people's lives down. I remember a woman called Debbie Gerbeck who took her own life, pleaded with a journalist called Stephen Cook, don't write the story up. He did, she took her life. Donna Awatiri has been critiqued. Māori have been critiqued all the time. Yeah. Tamahiri is getting critiqued at the moment um, and uh, they don't like it when John turns it around on them. They say, Who, who's this guy I think he is? Good on John Tamahiri. Our people like it out on the street. Here's the thing, if we don't put the fight up from Wati, and, from Wati or from Waipareta and Muma, who's going to fight for us? No one. We can barely get two or three minutes here on Marae. Yeah, very I mean, good. You know. well, there is your two <laughs> you, minutes. You, 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 yeah, yeah, thank you, you very much. take over. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Well, always a pleasure, my friend. Always a pleasure. Now, uh, back over to you, Miriam. You should hear our poor director, Brendan. Rat willy, rat willy. <laughs> uh, all right, the last of our troops returned from Afghanistan last night. And now we catch up with Lieutenant Colonel Bill Keelan. He retells the stories of his Anzac, uh, Anzac ancestors to reporter Kane Peters as we pay homage to all those who have fallen in battle. My grandfather, my great grandfather, and also a lot of great uncles uh, served uh, in, in the New Zealand Army from, from the First World War forward. Papa Talk didn't really talk about the war. In terms of his experiences, I didn't spend too much time with him because he, he passed away when I was three. But uh, uh, talking to my father, um, he was quite a focused guy, quite disciplined. Um, my father believes the, the war had quite a, a large effect on him. Although he didn't know his great-grandfather Claude Keelan well, Lieutenant Colonel Keelan did grow up knowing his granddad Murray Bobet, who served in World War II in the C Company of the 28th Māori Battalion. Yeah, a real interesting bloke, um, uh, my granddad, and you know, I had a lot of uh, interaction with him, and I thought he was, he was a hard bugger. He wasn't even old enough to join, um, and he, uh, he joined up at about 16, I think, and went off to war. 16th June 1940, Gurok, Scotland. A Maori battalion arrive in the United Kingdom keen to protect its shores from the Nazi threat. They come back from patrol uh, into a listening post or a sentry post. Um, but they're cold and they're wet. So they, they change their socks, which is something that I would imagine doing, because, you know, wet socks, no one likes wet socks. Unfortunately, they fall asleep. And the Germans basically capture them. Um, and one of his friends uh, is killed by the Germans, and then they're taken prisoner. Uh, but then a number of other things happen, um, and he manages to escape. In terms of what my grandfather and great-grandfather went through, um, I have not been through the threat to life, the um, situations they would have seen and had to deal with on a daily basis. Um, and that's just because of where I've been deployed. Lieutenant Colonel Keelan became commanding officer of the 1st Battalion after serving 10 months in Afghanistan. I've served in places where there's been threat to life and limb, um, and I've had to react to, to those situations. Before they put you in that sort of situation, you're trained to uh, react correctly to it. It's been 18 years I've been in the army. Um, started off right down at the, at the lowest level uh, and then went through all of the training and experiences that um, you know, you need before you're then given the responsibility to leave, lead a battalion. Ready? Yep, yeah, let's go. He commands a battalion of more than 270 soldiers well, and ensures his troops are always ready to serve whenever duty calls. Oh, My job here is to train soldiers so they can serve our country if required. Do you think any of your children will join the army? Don't know. Do you hope they do? Oh, I, I just hope they're successful in whatever they do, you know. Um, you know, I don't, you don't need to be successful. You don't need to be in the army to be successful, you know. Um, if it's something that excites them and something they, they want to be good at, then that's fine. 
And of course the day we remember is this coming Thursday, April 25th, uh, Anzac Day. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for Wakahuya. Ngā manaki tanga ki a koutou katoa. Nō reira tēnei te take ake nei i arongo marae roa ki tō tātou marae e hora ake nei kei akuranga tira o te motu ki a tau te mauri. Hey, Mel, don't go on up there, man. Hey, Paul.